Welcome to today's big race. You join us at a very tense time with only seconds to go to the finish. Sooty has the red car, Sweep is in charge of the white car, and both drivers are driving superbly as they have throughout this dramatic race. Just look at the speeds they're reaching along the straights. There's less than a lap in it as the end of the race gets closer. It's Sooty in the lead by half a lap. Can he hang on to retain his title of champion of the household? It's looking good as he powers his car around the corner and towards victory. It's a matter of seconds. He's almost there. He's, he's, oh, and he's blown it. Oh, what an upset. He's out of the race, which means that the opposition sweeps to victory. Come on, Sooty, cheer up. You, you know, I know why you lost that race. I mean, it was because you saw you were winning and you just pushed that little bit too hard. How do I know? What do you mean? If I wasn't there? Oh, well, it's, that's just experience, sort of experience. You know, experience is why people like me know so much more than people like you. I mean, look, take, for example, Sue's tape recorder that was broken. Now, I don't know anything about tape recorders, really, but uh, I stripped it down and then using common sense and drawing upon all my experience, I fixed it, and now it works perfectly. Just press play and see. Go on, press it. Oh. Yes, very, very funny, very funny. Matthew, it says here under this plate, you, mm -hmm. fine bone china. Yeah. Why do they call it bone china? Do you know? Uh, yes, it's because they actually use crushed up animal bones oh. to make it. So. Mm. Oh, you are clever. How do you know things like that? Oh, experience, Sue, experience. Yes. Actually, I was just saying to Sooty a while ago that it's surprising how much knowledge you actually pick up as you go through the years. Mm. It, oh, it's coming now. Oh, sweep as well. What's this? What oh. is this you've got, boys? It's a car kit. Uncle Colin sent it. Uh, Uncle Colin spoils you. He doesn't... Hey, look at this. Just look. Goodness oh, me. Wow. It looks a bit complicated, doesn't it? It does. I mean, just for a start, look at the instructions there. Oh, yes. You, you can see the, the engine. That's right. The silver piece there. That's the engine. And Sue, hang on a minute. Look, what about uh, this? Do you know what that is, Sue? Hmm? It's hmm? a banana. No, it's not a banana. It's actually a wheel, a tyre. Look, Matthew, I know it's a wheel. And just because I'm a girl, you don't have to treat me like a fool. All right, all right. So, tell me, sorry, just trying to give you some of the benefit of my experience. You're going to start assembling it. No, 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 no. You're going to help. Listen, listen, Sooty, you can't do that. You're going to need more than Sweep's help. I mean, you're better off waiting until I've got time to help you, don't you think? I mean, just, just, just think about it. Don't you think you should just let me and all my experience help you? Hmm? Yes, I think so. Mm. Uh, by the way, Matthew, yes? have you looked at my cassette player yet? Uh, I'm actually working on that at the moment. So you changed your mind? You're going to assemble it now? But hang on, just a minute. Just, would you, hang on. You just, you... Oh, goodness me. You just can't tell some people, but I can't help feeling that they'll be sorry. Why? Well, turning down my offer of help like that, Sue. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is very, very rude to turn somebody down when they're offering to help. So, if they're going to get on with their bit of construction, I can get on with mine. Look at this, Sue. Assemble it yourself, a rocking chair. Oh, super. When did you get that? I got it yesterday, and I'm going to assemble it <laughs> right now. Well, would you like a hand, Matthew? I'd love to help you. <laughs> A hand? Hmm. Well, from you. Yes. Uh, no, no, I think I can, uh, I think I can manage this on my own. Thank you very much, Sue. As a matter of fact, to somebody with all my experience, this is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeeze, squeezy. Oh, Matthew makes me so cross sometimes. I thought it was supposed to be rude to turn somebody down when they offer to help. You know, he could do with taking down a peg or two, and I know exactly the person to do it. Me. Excuse me. Right. Uh, nuts and bolts, glue, instructions. Ah, you see, experience has taught me it's a good idea to have everything laid out before you actually make a start. Experience has also taught me that skipping ropes don't move on their own. I think I've got a little visitor. Hang on a bit. Yes, I have. Look who it is. Little Cousin Scampy. You want to help? Well, I'm afraid that you can't help little cousin Scampy, so go and join Sooty. Go on, off you pop. What I thought... It, no, 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 come back here. Put the skipping rope down. Just leave it where it is, OK? Off you go. I thought what it might... Oi. Just leave it where it is. Thank you very much. I thought... Would you, would you put... Uh, 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 just leave it where it is. I thought... He is naughty. Uh, would you come back? It's very strong for a little bit. 
Help? Will you behave yourself? You will. Well, in that case, um, you can be in charge of the nuts and bolts, okay? Just just put them there and leave them there, okay? You just make sure they're all right, okay? What I thought we what I thought we could do. No, they were all right where I put them. Just leave them, leave them just there. What I thought we could do, what I thought. We've been here five minutes, haven't done a single thing. I wonder how Sooty's getting on. <laughs> well done, little cousin Scampy. Now we should have three back struts of equal length. Oh. I'm gripping it, Scampy. Put the glue on the joint. Put the glue on the joint. No, 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 no. Not, not, not on my finger. Not on my finger. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Look at that. Nice high gloss finish. Scampy, it's covered in sawdust now. Oh. Because, in my experience, these chairs can be just as strong, even with a strut missing. <laughs> Solid as a rock with no way is this going to come apart. And now, to get it downstairs. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, oh, well, uh, I'm... As a matter of fact, Sue, I think it's perfect. It was just made to go in the loft. Oh, don't be silly, Matthew. What? Why don't you just admit it? You made a stupid mistake. <laughs> yes, he's right, Matthew. The chair should be down here. But Matthew built it in the loft sweep, and now it won't come down. I could have told you that if you'd let me help. Yes, well, it was the help that I had that caused the problem in the first place, and I'd rather that you didn't actually call me silly, Sue. Well, it wasn't very clever, was it? Yes, well, when it comes to cleverness, I think I'm cleverer than you three put together. What? You don't think so? Neither do you? Me neither. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll accept any challenge from you lot. Oh, right, you're on. Bring them up, boys. Go on. Bring them up? Bring what up? What are, you... what are these? Oh, just a minute. These are, these are baby games, these yes. are. Yes. Well, in that case, it should be easy peasy lemon squeezy, eh? Well, what do you have to do? Well, if I'm correct, you've got to tip the sooties out and then try and put the right size sooty back into the right sized hole. Uh, am I right, Sue? Absolutely right, Matthew. Wow, that is mega difficult, that is. That's enough rudeness. Come on, tip your sooties out. OK, I'll tip my sooties out. I'll right. even mix them up for you. There we are, OK? Are you ready then, Matthew? Ready? <laughs> Sue, a person of my experience is always ready. <laughs> OK, go. Right, go, go. Right, OK. Putting the sooties in the right size. Oh, there it is. is that the big one? Oh. 
Oh, they're doing rather well, actually. Yeah. Uh, there we go. You lost fingers and thumbs when you tried to do... Yippee! Uh, finished! We won! We what won! Do you no, no, no. Just a minute. Uh, uh, I, I've finished. I've finished. <laughs> That's a, a draw, I think. Yes? Oh, absolute rubbish, Matthew. You lost, didn't you, What do you mean, boys? I lost? How do you mean, I lost? Uh, what? I've lost a game for babies? Mm. Yes. What about my experience? Mm. Well, as it happens, Sweep, I am not very experienced at doing baby games. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you why I lost. I'll tell you why. It's because I'm, uh, I'm feeling weak. Weak through lack of food. That's what it is, because I haven't had any breakfast, no lunch. Yeah, weak through lack of food. After lunch, it will be different. After lunch, it will be a different matter, and I will accept any challenge that you care to throw at me. In that case, we'll challenge you to a treasure hunt. Don't do that, Sweep. That hurt. <coughs> I said don't run it into people. Sorry, Sue. What, what, what do we have to do? Well, it's you against Sooty. It's treasure hunt. You're to find the treasure by following the clues. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Well, you haven't done too well so far today, have you? All right, all right, let's get on with it. Uh, where's the first clue? It's here, and may the best man win. A car will get you started on your journey. A car will get you started on your... Whoa! I've got it! <laughs> on your journey. Now we came here in my car, so the next clue must be in my car. Ah, I'm cooking. Come on, come on. A four-legged friend has a message under his shoe. I can't find this next clue. It's here somewhere, you know. It's got to be. I mean, there isn't another car here, is there? So... Yes, there is! <laughs> stupid of me, stupid! Hang on, he's got it, he's got it! It must have been on a little car all the time! It is. It's here. A four-legged friend has a message under his shoe. A four-legged friend has a message. I know what this one is. And Sooty's running the wrong direction because look over there. A four-legged friend. Look at this. A four-legged friend. And the message is under his shoe. Slipper, shoe. So the message is written. There's nothing here. Perhaps it means under his foot. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. Ah. Uh, oh, it's not here. <sighs> Tell me where the clue is, otherwise Sooty would... Look! Find another workhorse with a message for you. Oh, no! Of course, the message under his shoe, the horseshoe, here's the message. Find another workhorse with a message for you. Another workhorse? Choking. Here, Dobbin! Dobby, Dobby, Dobby! Black and white and beautiful will deliver your reward. Dobbin! I can't see another horse anywhere. I'll ask at the farmhouse. Clever idea, eh? <gasps>
There is another horse. The tractor is called a workhorse. Go, go, go! We're gonna find the tractor, come on! We're just gonna find the tractor! No sign of Sooty. Perhaps he's not here. Where's the clue? Where's the clue? Oh! Black and white and beautiful will deliver your reward. Black and white and beautiful. Black and white and beautiful. An attractive zebra crossing. Now that can be it. Black and white and... I've got it! I've got it! <laughs> Oh, no! Black and white and beautiful will deliver your reward. But you got it, didn't you? Hmm. And so, since I am black and white and beautiful, I will deliver your reward. Come here. Mm. Congratulations, Sooty. You win. And um, you lose, Matthew. But uh, never mind. Put it down to experience, eh? Me... feels better. I've had a nice long bath. Well, actually, I needed to, didn't I? I mean, I was covered in grease and oil and uh, all sorts of things. Look at this. Look, 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 look. My, my rocking chair. Ten out of ten for observation, Matthew. Sue, but, but who, uh, who did this? Well, I put it there whilst you were having a bath. You did? Mm. But how? Oh, easy. I just dismantled it following the instructions. As you said, Matthew, it was easy peasy. It actually says on the box, any five-year-old can do it. But, but, but Sue, this, this must have taken you ages. Oh, well, not really. Actually, I had time to do a spot of baking as well. It's a fluffy sponge cake. It's just cooling. What? You mean you? You baked this? Yes. Well, don't get overexcited. It was only from a packet. It was very easy. Any five-year-old can do it. Do you know something, Sue? You've really put me in my place, haven't you? I mean, I'm not really much use, am I? I'm, I'm a failure. And you know what it is? It's you being so good at everything that makes it seem so much worse. I'm hopeless. I mean, even with all my experience, I could never bake a fluffy sponge cake like this. Oh, dear. Just a minute. <laughs> Sue! Oh. Susie Q! <laughs> You're not perfect either, are you? No. This isn't a fluffy sponge cake. It's rock hard! Oh, <laughs> Miss Smarty Pants! <laughs> 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 it's evening time in Sooty's house. Sue is fast asleep. And so is Sweep. But there's no sign of Sooty. I wonder where he can be. Oh, hello. Don't worry about Sue and I, by the way. We haven't really fallen out. As a matter of fact, I think we've all learnt quite a lot today, haven't we, Sooty? Oh, and in case you're wondering why Sooty's up so late, the fact is that I'm trying to assemble this, uh, this shelf unit here, and Sooty offered to help, so uh, I'll let him. As a matter of fact, this is on the box here. So easy to assemble that any five-year-old can do it. So, uh, I've got myself a five-year-old and he's doing it. Take it away, Sooty. You're quite right. He says we'd better say goodbye first, so... Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, off you go.